Okay, we're going to work on how to get up if you're the bottom guy. If you're, the, if you're in trouble down here and you need to get up and get out of a bad situation. If you're just here, I can dominate him. Okay. If, they, if, if he steps up like this, go step up, boom, I mean, I can catch him and Shimada. If he steps up with his other leg, he steps up that way, I can hit Osoto. Or even then, even if he's just up, I can still just push him down and we maybe get a score out of that. So he doesn't want to be that guy who gets beat that way. Post, back out, and up, okay? And what Derek does not want to do is post and stand straight up or walk into Eric because he's going to walk right into the throw. Bam, there goes the throw. He doesn't want to be that guy. Okay. In some sports, like in the IJF, uh, judo rules, they'll probably call mate pretty quick. But if you're, if you're stuck here, like in Sambo, or it could be even in IJF rules and pretty much any other rules, if, if, if I'm here dominating Derek, okay, and I want to drag him up, my point is I want to drag him up and throw him, okay? Or if he makes a card, come up with your left foot. If he makes a cardinal mistake by stepping up into me, then I can nail him with no Chimata. So you see a lot of guys who are very good wrestlers, and they, they work on, they're very aggressive and want to get up and get their base back, or you guys have done other grappling sports as well. But that's what, if, they, if, if he steps up like this, go step up, boom, I mean, I can catch him with Chimata. If he steps up with his other leg, steps up that way, I can hit Osoto. Or even then, even if he's just up, I can still just push him down and I'll maybe get a score out of that. So he doesn't want to be that guy who gets beat that way, okay? He, he wants to be able to posture up and get up and out of trouble without being vulnerable. And this is a skill you need to learn. It's just a good skill. So I, I'm going to have Derek Dimmel here in a second but, um, with, with Eric. But basically, uh, he's going to, see, see the hands here? Let's turn around sideways so you can see. So if I'm holding him with a right grip, now if I'm holding left grip, he'd be using this hand. If I'm holding the right grip, he's going to post with his left hand down on the mat. And as soon as he does that, he's going to put his weight in his butt end and back out. Okay? He might even pull on me a little bit to keep me from pulling him. See? So from this position, he posts, backs in. If he can pull, even better. Okay, so that's the safe way to do it. Can you yep. come up here? And we're going to show how to use this to safely get up and out. Okay, post, back out, and up. Okay? And what Derek does not want to do is post and stand straight up or walk into Eric because he's going to walk right into the throw. Bam, there goes the throw. He doesn't want to be that guy. Okay? So he's going to make sure when he posts, post here now. He's starting, he might even look at the man, so if your head's up a bit, that does help, okay? Now he's going to start putting his weight and his butt in, and he's going to split his legs wide as he can, and start backing up and pulling out. That is a safe way to get up if you are, if you've been dominated on the mat. It's a very safe way to do it. And it works, it really does work. Because he's basing up, he's getting out of trouble, You've got to get out of trouble before you can try the arm lock. You've got to get out of trouble first, and then you can go for your submission. Even if, you, if you don't get the arm lock, you're at least out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to show how to turn that into an offensive move, into a nice arm lock. You know, we, if we can get a Jujigatami from here, by golly, we're going to do it, right? Okay, so we're going to look at this. So can you dominate again? Now, you want to coach this? Sure. Okay. Okay, so the, the important part is when I pop back out, that's going to be my space to, to slide under. So everything needs to be quick about this. If I keep my hand on the, the ground too long, he's going to take advantage of that. So this is just there momentarily to get my back base up and to give me some, some hip space from him and hopefully to pull him a little bit and catch him off guard. So as soon as my hand comes down, I'm popping back out and I'm going to trap this arm, okay? And then it's immediately fly in. So foot comes in. And we're sitting up into our juju. Can you do that facing the other group? Yep. Guys, some key points he said there that's, that are really good in, in, in basing up. So, and, and 
Derek's good about these fine points like this. You know, they say small things make big things happen. This is really good about this. When he posts, he's got to do this fast. If he stays there too long, he's going to take advantage of it. He knows something's coming. So he's got to post and get up and get out of trouble. Okay, there. He's based. That's the key one right there. Trap. Okay? Now, we go. Okay. So from the, the down position, as I pull him in, I won't have to take a step. If I don't pull, I have to take a step. So it's better to just pull him a little bit, get him off balance. One hand, pop up, drop the arm, in. Okay? Foot goes in the hip, slide under, collect the head, other arm goes into the armpit, sit up. Notice I still have his lapel there, and I've got his elbow tucked in nice and tight into my chest. Okay, that allows me to keep, to pull myself up with the lapel and stay nice and round, and to keep this elbow in my chest, which is where I want it, in order to finish properly, okay? So from here, all kinds of finishing options if he squeezes up his arms. Okay, and, so whatever. The reality also, you will surprise him. And when he hits, he's probably gonna be a bit like in shock, you know, like, like oh, it's a, no, but it, it's, it's enough to disturb him, and that gets the arm free. Okay, my shoulder. Now, it's important that you make this smooth, make it efficient. You don't have to do it super fast, just be efficient in your movement. So if you remember, number one, I gotta get base, so I get to my base, then I start my offense. Okay, then he goes to work. And of course, we did it slow. Can you can't do it more oh, slow? Okay. This really does work. This is a good offensive way. You, you, Derek's taken a bad situation and turned it into a good one. You know, like when you get lemons, you make lemonade. Okay, well, this is a situation here. That's the, the, the way, to, a good way to describe it. Because he's basing up, he's getting out of trouble. You've got to get out of trouble before you can try the arm lock. You've got to get out of trouble first, and then you can go for your submission. Even if you, if you don't get the arm lock, you're at least out of trouble. So let's look at the, the, the base up, get, get out of trouble first, post out there, and then see he traps, and then he goes ahead and he goes to work. So it's just, you know, getting your base from a bad situation if you're being dominated on the, in the, on the ground, and then up, turn that into an offensive move, okay? Let's drill on that. It's a, it's a great series of techniques, of skills that work together, and this is how you kind of make things transition, you know? Um, the, the arm lock will come out of nowhere. He won't expect an arm lock. He really won't. And this is a, a perfect example of how you get to your base, take a defensive movement, turn it into an offensive movement. It's a great transition here. Okay, let's go to work on it.